Hi, can you introduce yourself? I'm Howard Rheingold, at H. Rheingold on Twitter, which is, I guess, the way everybody identifies these days. And, and that's, uh, that's King's College, Cambridge, uh, behind me. Lots of famous people went there. I think Alan Turing went there. If, you're, if you are in the computer business in the Valley, or uh, a social media analyst, and you don't know who Alan Turing, T-U-R-I-N-G, is, well, go look it up. Okay. So, um, Howard, you've done a lot of thinking about what's coming down the pike in terms of technology in the future, so uh, what's on your mind these days? Well, I, I'm, I'm cursed and blessed to somewhat live in the, the future, so 1985 published Tools for Thought about where might these personal computers go in the year 2000, and 2002 Smart Mobs about what might people do with mobile telephones and collective action. And now I am convinced, more than I was before, that what's important now is not access to hardware, access to the Internet. We've got a billion people on the Internet now and more coming. We've got four billion phones and more coming. But access to, to knowledge, 21st century literacies. And I'm not talking just about um, India and Africa. I'm talking about my students at Stanford and Berkeley. In fact, that's where I started thinking about this, was when I first started teaching, I assumed that my students were like my daughter and all her friends and me and all of my friends. I stood up and said, you're going to blog, uh, you're going to wiki, and I got blank looks from a lot of people. So that started me thinking about what is it that we assume that people know in this, this day of everyone carrying a laptop and a, a phone that's connected to the net, but, but they, they really don't in terms of a, a, a literacy, and I mean by literacy, skill, which is of course an individual thing, learning to ride a bicycle is not very social, skill plus social. If you're the only person in the world who knows how to ride a bicycle, that's very empowering. If you're the only person who knows how to read and write or post to the web, who cares? So I think that there are at least five essential literacies. One of them is attention, I'll get back to that. Another one is participation, which is what I was talking about in terms of blogs and wikis and Twitter and all the things that people do online, how to, how to do it well, and how to understand what it's about. Uh, collaboration, network, savvy, and what you might uh, politely call uh, critical consumption or might more directly call crap detection. We live in an age where you can get the answer to anything out of the air. You don't have to go to a, a college library. but college library pretty much sure that someone checked the truth claims in the in the books you get it out of the air from the internet it's up to you to determine whether it's information misinformation disinformation um, urban legend hoaxes spam porn porn spam so the ability to know has suddenly become the ability to search and the ability to sift back to tension for a moment again this came to me when I was in the classroom, but of course you think about it when you're driving on the freeway and you're seeing people texting. When you're on Twitter and you're seeing things go by, you're making decisions very quickly about what do I pay attention to at all, what do I open a tab for later, and what do I bookmark for much later. I think there's a, there is a skill there and some people do it better than others and they're going to have a competitive advantage over others, but in the classroom, of course, it's, it's a, a problem for those teachers who've been saying the same old thing for 30 years because their students are now on the internet, they're checking what they're saying, and if you're too boring, they're on Facebook, they're on World of Warcraft. I'm not sure whether that's the best way for them to spend their attention. I think it's not a matter that focused attention is privileged over multitasking, and you know, if, if you weren't able to multitask, what are you going to do while the infant is crawling towards the electrical socket, the tea, tea kettle is boiling over and the phone is ringing? How are you going to drive your car? Focused attention is like a, a spotlight and you need that kind of light if you're going to do surgery. But you, you need to kind of turn on the lights to see everything if you're, you're in that kind of multitasking situation. Nobody teaches us these skills. Of course, you, you need to learn how to cross the street. There are a lot of attentional skills we pick up, but the attentional skills from the, that, that come from being always on, always connected, 
have, getting your answers from Google and Wikipedia, that's, that's new. And you're not learning it in high school, you're not learning it in college. So I'm becoming interested in how do we learn and teach these skills these days. Increasingly, I don't think the, the, the digital divide is more about people who have access to technology. I think it's more about the divide between those who know how and those who don't know how. How to use the technology. How to use the technology and how to use your mind with the technology. Yes. Okay, Howard, that's a good thing to think about. Thanks so much. Thank you, JD. All right. And here's the rest of King's College at Cambridge University. It's been a great week here with the Traveling Geeks. We're out.